not sleeping by this time. What is good about the money? Auntie, I'm sorry, you know I didn't sleep early yesterday. I slept very late, almost this morning. You didn't sleep early yesterday. You slept almost this morning. Meaning what? Oh, because you walked into the night. You not feel you can sleep into the day. Indirectly, you are telling me that I am overworking you. Is that? Auntie, I'm sorry. No, oh, please shut your mouth up. Just shut that trap. Now listen. Even if you sleep by 5 a.m. this morning, you must wake up by 6 a.m. in this house. Am I understood? Yes, sir. Now get up. Go make me something to eat. Get up! Go make me something to eat! Don't get me started this morning. What is wrong with you? Get out! Fool. How can people be this wicked? Hmm? It's good to be good to people, though. This woman is so heartless. How could she do this? It is good to be good to people. Why would she be treating this? Oh, God. Oh. Okay. Just imagine. Eh? Look at, look at, Auntie, your juices. Look at that. Come back here, you little rat. How many times have I warned you never to serve me like this? I'm sorry, ma. Don't you know what to do? I'm sorry, ma. I'm carrying the other. Good. Did you wash the glass very well? Yes, ma. You rinse it? Yes, ma. Did you check the sparring date? Yes, ma. Tell me. Uh, June next year, he's still very okay. Are you sure? Yes, ma. The juice is very okay. So, meaning you, you drunk? No, ma. I just checked. Oh, I feel like beating this woman. How could she be this wicked? Look at what she's doing to this boy. Oh, God. Auntie, please, can I go? Are you alright? Come on, be stubborn. You are welcome. Thank you, Amy. Hey. Thank you. So please sit. Emeza, <laughs> honestly, I never believed I can see you again. So you're about to the party? Of course I am here. I had to. My husband insisted on it. You know, he has not been doing too well. His health is not getting any better. Oh. So he wants me to come stay with him. At least for some time. It's a pity to hear this. God will heal him. Amen. <laughs> Thank you so much. And your son? Ah. Oh. That one is a big boy now. He's grown. Max is grown. I can imagine. You know, Amelda, I never do believe I can see you again in this life. Ed, I'm so glad to see you. I'm glad to see you too. <laughs> um, food will soon be ready. Let me get you something to drink. No problem. Um, come, Billy. Come, Billy. Auntie. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. This is your niece. Yes. Oh be. my goodness. She's all grown now. Beautiful. <laughs> oh my world. Thank you. Do you remember me? Uh, answer the question. Calm down. Um, yes, yes, ma. You're so grown. I can't believe it. She's so beautiful. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. Get her something to drink. All right. Now, do you think she has been living with you all this while? My uh, father. You never came back for her? Which father? That useless one. Oh. Since my half-sister passed and abandoned her with me, 
I have never set my eyes on that me compo. Uh -oh. I've been the one catering for her. She just finished her secondary school, say, two years, three years ago. I'm still gathering money to send her to the university. <laughs> She's beautiful. She's a good one. She's humble. Hey, my company is humble, but you know this Jay Z generation with their own head up. Today she's normal, the next day she's off. Nobody's mm -hmm. <laughs> perfect. People have their wireless. Fine girl. Yeah. Thank you so much. Should I start with you, please? Sir. Nobody's perfect. You know what I'm saying? She's old enough to get married. No. Is she not well over 20, I guess? Well, she's 21, but you know the word. Education is the key. I need to give her a fighting chance. Okay. She has to get a backup to face the streets someday. So she won't just leave the house like that. She has to be well later before getting married. Get your point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so let's change the topic a bit. Mm -hmm. How is life to be treating you? My dear, contract has not been good. We've just been here or there doing one thing or the other to you know meet ends mate. The country is that everywhere. Oh, yeah. Nowhere mm -hmm. is perfect. Everywhere has its headache. You see how gorgeous and fresh you're looking. Come to Nigeria and stay with us. I bet you two weeks you will run. Yeah, here yeah, you're looking this fresh. <laughs> you will not understand. Tears never dry from my eyes. They never leave my bed. What kind of life am I living? Is this the right way of living? I know, right? How many times will I tell you not to bring this fan here? So you took this fan again. Auntie, I'm sorry. Eh? Auntie, I'm sorry. So many times will I warn you never to touch this fan? What happened to this? It got burned. It got burned. And you cannot repair it. What have you been doing with all the balance you are holding? You think I don't know you don't give me my balance when I send you an umbrella? No, Auntie, I don't have any money with me. I'm you not with any of you. money with you. Not just that you took the fan. You owned it. And you are burning my unit. Do you know how much I recharge all the time? Do I talk money from trees? I'm sorry, Auntie. You are sorry. Have you taken your breath? Yes, I've, I've, I've taken my shower and I've cleaned everywhere the way you like it. Really? So you are relaxing with my energy? You are relaxing with my light? Yes, I'm sorry. Listen, this is to me. I am going to send you outside. During the night, you will sleep outside so that the breeze will deal with you. When the breeze dealt with you, if you see fun anywhere, if you see breeze, you will run. Now get off. Out! Get off! I couldn't believe my husband could do that. Yes, I know mass can be irresponsible. But for a man to do that to his own child, that is quite unfair. Terribly unfair. Sorry for your loss once again. But is there nothing the lawyer can do to do the terms of the will? I wish they could. The only condition there is, Mas gets married as soon as possible. Else he loses everything to his half-sister. Can you imagine that man? That wouldn't be a problem. Max is no longer a baby. So he can get someone to get married to. Max has been going through that for weeks now. He has not been able to find anybody responsible. He keeps bringing all these rotten girls to the house. One even said we'll have to give her half of the wealth. She meant. Yes, half of the inheritance. You know, even his friend, his best friend, turned down his proposal. She said she's not going to marry Max. Even I begged her to just stick by him for two years. 
at least after he must have gotten his inheritance. But she refused. So what will you do now? Ego, I'm in a serious dilemma. Max needs to marry as quickly as possible. What exactly does the clause say? The clause says Max must remain married for two years. He gets half of the inheritance for the first year and another half for the second year. So he must be married for two years before he gets anything. That won't be a problem. Meaning that any lady he gets married to will stay for two years non-stop. Then he can do it. So how does he do that? With all these greedy girls out there? Come on. There's no good woman available. That is the point. Auntie, welcome, ma. Food is ready. How are you daft? Can't you see I'm discussing? I'm sorry. Set the table. How about her? How about who? Come in now. Oh, please, Imelda, don't get me started. Can't you see she's the only one here to take care of me? I'm not getting any younger. Besides, I, 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 I will... I will pay handsomely for, for her. Trust me. Imelda, Kambili is the only family I have left. I want to send her to school. Please. Besides, she's still young. I can push her to that. You said she's 21? Yes. So she's not too young. Oh, please. Three million. I pay three million for Kambili. Hmm. You're joking. How can I be joking over a serious matter like this? I just told you the daily man I mean to. Why are? You could find someone else. There is no better girl out there. If I had a choice, I wouldn't have come crying to you. Kambili looks quiet. Respectful. She's humble. At least you have taught her some of this teaching chores. I shouldn't want to go with my son's wealth. So there's no point going through the stress of signing a prenup. Unlike these other rotten eggs out there that are so greedy to the teeth. That's true. You know, I am happy you raised Kambili well. My son needs a level headed girl like Kambili. A girl that will be at his beck and call. She'll be there to take care of him. She will not argue with him nor talk back at him. And that is the whole thing I see in Kambili. She's the only one for my son. Trust me. Five million. Here you go. I'll take five million for Kambili. That's way too much. Three would have been fine. Five million or no deal. Okay, fine. Okay. As Are you serious? I, yes, I am more than serious. As long as I get what I want. And now I, I just said five million. Like five. I'm dead serious. I'll pay. Then we have a deal. Deal, sure. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, Kambili, are you done setting the table? Yes. Oh, come, let's go. Tears never dry from my eyes. They never leave my bed. Auntie, come believe my lovely girl. Auntie, you're very pretty. Hey, hey, hey. How are you today? I'm fine. Well, I went shopping. I got you some beautiful dress. I hope you like it. Thank you so much. I also want to discuss something with you. Hmm. You know, I've been the one taking care of you since your mom passed. And now you're a grown woman. Grown and good enough for plucking, like our people would say. <laughs> so on that note, I found you a husband. A handsome, rich husband that will take care of you and me. You know, as your mother, I am the only family you have left. You ought to take care of me someday. So we need someone rich. <laughs> I have 
for my education. Oh, Kambi. You are so naive. Okay, let me enlighten you. Hmm? When you marry rich, education is by the way. There's nothing. All you need to do is to be a good wife and everything will flow like a river. You'll be as free as bird. I don't want to marry now. Sincerely speaking, I would want to further my education. Please. I'm sorry you don't have a choice on this. Because your bright prize, everything is settled. Yes. See, you're not going to live in my house forever. You have to start up your own life. Stay in your own house. Your comfort zone. That's the only way you can take care of me. And that is why I got a rich husband for you who will take care of you and I forever. So you check if those fit. Hmm? I know it will fit under your size. I've been buying your clothes for so long, so <laughs> I'll be in my room. Thank you, Auntie. Why need to be in my room? Don't forget to fit those. Tears never dry for my face. I mean, a smile never come my face. Why me? Now? Why me? Oh, why me? Oh, why me? Now? Tears never dry for my face. Why me? Now? Smile never come my face. So when is that day? Mm -hmm. Lovely house you have here. Thank you. Actually, it's not my house. Hmm. It's my son's house. I brought you here because it's closer and I want you to meet Max. You know he's a very busy boy. Uh, that's him, right? Yes, that's him. The last time I met him, he was little, quiet boy. <laughs> Max is no longer that little and quiet boy you used to know. He is now a full-grown man. You can see. <laughs> and quite so handsome. Cute. Yes, I love that. <laughs> that should be Max. Of course, that's Max. Oh. My love. Uh, Mom. How are you? I'm fine, as you can see. Mm -hmm. Look at my mom, looking so beautiful. Eh? Thank you. I actually <laughs> came with my friend. That's Ego. She used to come around then when you were much younger. She's my friend. Uh, for real? Ego, that's Max. How are you, Max? I'm doing fine. Uh, Ego. Ego, right? Yeah, I'm good. Why didn't you come out well? Why would I dress her by her name? What happens to your respect? She is your elder. I dress her with some respect. Ma That's rude. Mother, not again. What is it with Africans and unnecessary titles? Okay, if you want me to tell you that again, I'll do it again. Okay? All right. Um, I'm fine, ma'am. Yeah, I'm good. Good day, my boy. How have you been? Splendid, as you can see. She's the aunt of the young lady I told you about. Oh, the young lady you're forcing me to get married to? Oh, really? Young man, watch your tongue. If you had gotten yourself a wife, a decent one, apart from those rotten eggs you were throwing at me, I wouldn't have been stressing myself to go get you a wife. It's fine, mom. You don't have to rub it in. I'll keep rubbing it in until you have some sense in your head. Um, my mother, it's enough. Um, listen, Max. My niece is a very decent, lovely girl. I'm sure you will love her when you see her. And she's very tolerant. Mm, I hope so. So, when will you be coming to see her? To see her? Mm -hmm. Didn't my mom tell you I'm a very busy gentleman? Mm -hmm. Mom, you didn't tell her? Yes. Anyway, it's okay. Uh, my mom will handle that smart contract, okay? I have bigger contract that keeps me busy. Yes. Um, I am handling everything. You know, Max here is very busy handling the family's company. You know, since the father is no longer with us, hmm. I'll handle everything. I'll make sure you're fine and your niece is fine. And the traditional? Um, set the date for the court wedding. And I'll let you know. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. It's all good. 
Uh, mother, if you don't mind, I want to go in there and, and freshen up. Okay? Yes, You're welcome once more, Igu. Oh, sorry, my bad. Mama. And talking about tradition is as obsolete as the word obsolete. You know, there may not be time for that traditional marriage ceremony. We don't have such time. We will just pay for the bride price. Oh. And we'll head to the court for the court wedding. I understand. Thank you for your understanding. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Uh, I will pay you the balance of your money once they get married. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. If anyone had told me that Kambili will bring me good fortune, I'll say it's a lie. But look at me, drinking champagne after so many years. <laughs> but why do you treat her so badly? Why would you say that? Mm -hmm. Do you think I'm treating my niece so badly? Listen, Emelda, the only way to bring up a decent girl in this part of our world is strict upbringing. And you see how Kambili has turned. Actually, she turned out to be a very good girl. She turned out well and better. That's the only way to keep them grounded. I see. I wish I was a little strict with Max. Well, you've seen how decent my Kambali turned. That's a dividend of strict upbringing. He spared the rod and spoiled the child. Well, Max is a man. He is living his life. Living his life? Well, I've saw, I've seen little of it. What is that? When you spare the rod, your child got spoiled. So what's the meaning of sparing the rod and spoiling the child? It means sparing the rod and spoiling the child. Hmm. Mm. Sounds like people in the hood. Whatever. You know the uh, You have eyes for beautiful things. This is London Square. Can't say so that again. Beautiful. Mm. Honestly, you have eyes for good things. Mm. Hmm. This will fit Kambili so well. Yes, because Kambili is very beautiful. Don't mind those her big, big gowns. There's something that is inside there. The body is well shaped and beautiful. Look at that food. Hey, Kambili! Kambili! Come! Come, we brought your wedding dress to fit. Wedding clothes? Yes. Look, you didn't tell her. Of course I told her. Didn't I told you you are getting married? And I thought you were joking. I told you I want to further my education. Just go get to you there. Are you alright? Mama, what is your problem? I'm so sorry, Mama. The truth is, I didn't give my consent. You, you didn't do don't what? Do Come back here! Don't hit her. Don't do that. Please. Uh, so, you have a right to question me. You dare question me. Listen, Kambili. I know it's like a shock to you. Don't worry. You are getting married to my son. He's a good boy. He will take good care of you. Okay? This dress. Ma, are you begging? Are you begging her? We are doing her a favor. Now come. I don't want to get off of you. Pick. Go. Shower. Fix this. And come out. I want to see you. Be quick. And be civil on it. Don't dirty the white. Ego, can you calm down? I'm coming down. You know those girls. Don't be too harsh on her. I'm not being harsh. See, all these JC girls, fourth, being strict, is the only language they understand. I 
understand that easy, please. I'm taking it easy. Just don't worry. She will come around. I know her very well. Thank <laughs> you so much. When she comes out, if you see how fitting, because I know she has this, you know, well, shapey, curvy. Trust me. She will come. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. We are doing a good deed. I told you you're not smart. Where do you even want to go? Auntie, please. I don't want to get married now. I want to further my education, please. On whose account? You think I will spend my money to send you to school? You're a joke. Auntie. I can be walking and be going to school. Please, I have served you all these years with the hope that you send me to school as promised. But even if you can't, you have tried for me. Please, I will find my way and go to school. Marriage is not in my book now, please. It's already too late because I've sold you off to Imelda's son. Sold? You don't talk while I'm talking. I even give you a better life. I give you a chance to have a better life. Auntie, please. You know I'm very intelligent. If I further my education, I'll make you proud. You'll be proud of me, I promise you. Just don't, don't do this to me, please. It's very simple. You can get your dead mother to send you to school. You know what? The gate is open. It's your choice. So please, if you want to go, feel free. Please. Make sure you close my gate when you leave. Auntie, please. Please, Auntie. You are all I have. Please. Please, Auntie. Do, do you know something? I gave you a chance. A chance to have it all. A chance to get married to a rich man. You get to live in a good house. Eat good food. Not a choice of life. You are getting married to a rich husband. Something that I don't have. I'm offering you. Come here. I came to see you. I am sorry, I, I didn't personally come to ask you to marry my son. You know, marriage is not something you do on a whim. It's not a decision you take out of the blues. I actually got married when I was about your age. Yes, my parents literally pushed me to marry my husband. At the long run, it was worth it. Because my husband turned out to be the love of my life. My child, you get married into my family. But I fought you a change of life, a better life. You can go to school if you want. Yes, marriage will afford you the opportunity to escape this life. You live today. Don't you want it? I want to go to school, ma. It is one step at a time. Once you get married, you talk to your husband, he will listen. Your aunt wanted me to talk to you. Yet while talking to you, I will not leave out the truth. You are not living a happy life. You are not happy here. I see it every time I come here. Are you not tired? Kambili, imagine you getting married and having staff answer to you. Everybody is at your beck and call. You have the best of dress. Wear it when you want to wear it. 
have your accessories, dress the way you want, and have a husband that does on you. That is amazing. An adorable husband. That is every woman's dream. Camille, marry my son has a clause. Marry him for two years. You can leave if you want. And trust me, you'll be well compensated. Just two years? No, you can make it a lifetime. The ball is on your court. It's all in your hands. If you want it for a lifetime, no problem. Your change of life begins as quickly as you made the right decision today. Did my auntie sell me to you? What? No. Can't believe you're a good girl. And I believe you make a good wife. I relayed my desires to her. And that is why we are here now. But this your son we are talking about, I've not seen him. I don't even know what he looks like. We are not even sure if he would like me. But you have seen me. I am my son's representative. Yes, Max is a very busy man. But trust me, he'll make it up to you. Okay? Is Max his name? Yes, Max is his name. You know, marriages are contracted today in the absence of the groom. But in this case, he is not here now. But he'll be present on the wedding day. All right. All right, I accept. Is that a yes? Yes, it is a yes to everything. Thank you. Thank you, Kambili. You will not regret it. Trust me. Thank you for clarifying my doubt. I'm glad my auntie didn't sell me to you. No, yes, she didn't. Let me get Can you. Can I get a hug? <laughs> You're so beautiful. And you too, darling. You're welcome. How are you today? I'm fine. Yeah. You must be excited. Tomorrow is your wedding. <laughs> so tomorrow you're going to be a married woman. Not just an ordinary married woman. A rich married woman. Because you're getting married to a handsome rich guy. I'm jealous. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, okay. Quick one. And now let's say you should sign this. Yes. It, there's no need to read it. It's just paper. Just sign, sign. Uh, we need to commit it to the court before the wedding tomorrow. So just sign. Put date, put the date. Mm -hmm. More like it. Good. See, you need to rest. Hmm? I'll go and rest too. So that will look fresh. You have to rest very well because you're going to take pictures tomorrow and I want you to be looking all beautiful. Rest, huh? Thank you, Auntie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, welcome to my humble abode. Your house is beautiful, my husband. Thank you very much. Thank you. It actually cost me a fortune to build this one. Evidently. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's quite a hectic day, and I'm famished. Can you please go inside and make me something to eat? Uh, 
I prefer pounding the arm. Did my mom tell you that's my favorite? Your aunt said you are good at it. Yes. Okay, good. Go make me some pounding the arm. I was thinking if you could put, probably eat the food your mother gave us so we can rest after a hectic day tomorrow. We prepare pounding the arm for you. This is your favorite soup. Are you questioning me? No, I was just making a harmless suggestion. I didn't mean to upset you, I'm sorry. Are you alright? I'm asking you, are you alright? I guess you're not. Listen to me. This is my house, okay? In its entirety, it's my house. And I have the right to say what I want to eat and when I want to eat it. Don't you dare say what you just said out of your mouth again. Now get your ass in the kitchen and make me pound the yam. Right there. Nonsense. Ah, uh, come, Billy. Come, come back here. Come back here. Take off my shoes. I said take off my shoes. You stood for like three seconds. Why? Were you contemplating or what? No, no, sir. Better do it. Take them upstairs. Take them upstairs. Come on. And uh, make sure you make that pounded there for me to eat now, eh? What a stressful day. Stressful. Stressful. I'm, I'm Max's wife, not the maid. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. I never thought he would go through with it. Uh, how, you're pretty, though. Thank you, Ma. Well, how is married life treating you? Uh, it's fine. Is he in? Yes, he's in. Oh, okay. So I'll just go in and... Uh, oh, he's in oh. here. Hey! Beautiful! How you doing, girl? <laughs> Why are you doing that in front of your wife? Come on! Did I hear you say my wife? Mm-hmm. Hey, come on. Come off it. This is the normal way we do it, so... Why are you so angry with me all of a sudden? But you're married now. Married? Mm-hmm. To? Sweetheart, come on. I'm not married, okay? This marriage was forced on me. As a matter of fact, you know deep down in your heart that I'm married to no one. Keep talking like that, and I will celebrate my decision for not marrying you. Just come on. It would have been different with you anyway. No, 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 no. Don't even, don't do that with me. It wouldn't have. Hey, it's okay. You look pissed. Shouldn't I be pissed? Anyway, uh, it's too early for this. Why don't you come inside so we'll talk? I want to know how you've been faring. All right? 
I said, what are you doing on my bed? It's our matrimonial bed now. It's just lying down and waiting for you to come. Ah, uh, what? Did I hear you say our matrimonial bed? There's something wrong with you. This is my bed! Not ours, okay? Now let me tell you something. You are not my wife. You were sold to me. I paid heavily for you to be here. And that makes you whatever I say you are. And I make it bold to say you are not my wife. You are my servant. You are whatever I say you are. I am your God, your Lord. Okay? God, God, please. Just hope this is not what I'm thinking. Whatever you are thinking does not concern me in any way. Let me make myself clear one more time. You are not my wife. You don't have the right to lie on my bed. No, you don't have the right. Do you know what you are meant for? To service me. I know what that means. It is whenever I am urged, whenever I feel like pleasuring myself, then I'll let you in. The moment I'm done, you are out. Now get the hell out of my room. Out! I don't ever want to see you here again. Nonsense. I'll match you in that bed. You and who is doing match? Are you, are you crazy or what? Hey, come Billy! Come Billy! Come here! Lie down there! Lie down, spread those legs! This is when you have the right to come to me. I said come this way. I am Alex, um, the lawyer. You remember me? From the wedding. Yes, you're correct. Welcome. Thank you. I actually came to see uh, Max. You can sit down. Let me call him. Oh, he's here. Well, well. <laughs> Who do we have here? Huh? Max. The smart and intelligent barrister Alex. You've come to see if I'm still married, right? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not far from that. And um, to also discuss the terms of uh, sharing the properties with excuse you. Excuse me, excuse me. Why is he standing there? Come on, get in the kitchen, get in something to drink, okay? <laughs> Have a seat, okay? Thank you. Yeah. So tell me, Alex, what is happening? Well, uh, 
vision that came with um, as a particular thing. I said something like a bad chill. Of course. Jesus! Sorry. Sorry. Good. It's okay, it's okay. So sorry. It's what the sorry. hell? It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's alright. Don't worry, I'll Are you dumb or something? What is wrong with you? Are you crazy or something? Matt, I said it's okay. It's not okay. Come on, Matt, it's okay. No, don't tell me it's okay. You know how much it cost me to bring to import this thing from Italy? Do you even have an idea how much a pack of juice costs now? I'm asking you! Matt? I, I, I didn't know that. Shut up! Max, I said it's okay. It's not okay. No, no, it's okay. It is not okay! I am talking to my wife. Now you listen to me. Listen attentively. You have to be disciplined, okay? Be careful! Don't waste my money! Get out of this place! I'm sorry, sir. Ah! My mother just intentionally gave me a dumb for your wife. Oh, Max, you don't say that about your wife. You don't call her that, Max. And if I do, who's gonna stop me? You? Huh? Who's gonna stop me? You? Huh? My friend, sit down. Sit down there! Let's discuss business. I don't have time for rubbish. What were you saying? Um, hey, 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 listen to me. Before you say any rubbish from your mouth, I want you to put into cognizance the fact that I'm the one paying you. Hmm? Yes. And he who plays the piper, they take the tune. Do I make myself clear? What does this mean? Next time, if you see me talking to my useless wife, huh? do not interfere. If you do, I will not hesitate to send you out to your stupid colleagues out there who wear Oversized coats jumping from tricycles to, to, to motorcycles looking for, for, for petty things to bear from the cell. Do I make myself clear? I am sorry, Max. I'm all yours. Speak. Well, um. Tears never dry from my eyes. They never leave my bed. What kind of life am I living? Is this the right way of living? From pain to another Every day I am sober Is this the way I am gonna be? Living in pain and misery Why me? Alex, my name is Alex Okay, sir uh, I'm sorry about the other day, okay? I am so sorry, please Boy, you didn't do anything wrong, sir. I should be the one apologizing. No, no, I should apologize. I mean, I should, you know, I should, I should have kept quiet. Please, I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. So, where are you coming from and where are you going to? Um, I'm coming from the market. I went to buy food stuff, but I'm heading home, sir. You're walking home with, with this? That is the way. Oh, come on. Please, get into the car. Let me drop you off. Please. No, sir. Thank you, sir. I would rather... Check on, sir. Call me, sir, one more time and I'll, I'll start crying for you right now. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> All right, so sorry. can I drop you off, please? Please, I insist. Okay, no problem. Sorry. But you will not take me to our house gate. You just drop me by this street. Anything you want, ma. I'm at your service. Is this the way I am gonna be? Living in pain and misery. Why me? Oh, why me? Oh, why me now? Tears never dry for my eyes. Why me now? Smile never come my way now. Why me? Oh, why me? Oh, why me now? Tears never And what do you think you're doing? Smile never come my Huh? Why do we? I just applied powder on my face. Ah. So it has come to this. Huh? You making up? For what? Huh? For who? I'm asking you, who are you making up for? 
Oh, I see. So, it is in my house that you want to learn prostitution, right? I'm asking you. You want to you you want to go into full time prostitution. So what are you making up for? For who? It's, it's, it's not proper makeup. I just applied white so that. Will you keep your mouth shut? How dare you speak back at me? Who do you think you are? I'm sorry, but please don't forget I'm your wife. I don't know why you're speaking to me like this. See, let me tell you something. I have said it before, and I will say it again. I have the right, the sole right to speak to you however I like. Do you understand? Do I make myself clear? Yes, but what have I done wrong? Please, if I've done anything wrong to you, tell me I will apologize. If this is not how husband treats wife now, eh? That's if the wife has sense, okay? If you see your stupid self as my wife, you have some sense in that dope skull of yours. Okay? What is wrong with you? What are you doing here? What are you doing here now? Why are you lying down here? What are you doing? What have you done this morning? I... I'm, I've done everything I'm supposed to do. I've washed, I've cleaned, I've cooked, I've, I've equally had my shower. And you think that is enough? What would you rather have me do again? It is even more annoying that you don't know what brought you to this house. And if you don't know, I will spell it out to you right here and right now. You are here to serve me. No other person but me, okay? You are here to serve me. I am your Lord. I am your God. You are here to serve no other person but me, okay? But I don't blame you. All you do all day is eat and relax. Eh? You eat, you drink, you do whatever you want to do, and then you, 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 you lie down here like a lazy log of wood. I don't blame you. You are lazy! I'm not lazy. You know I'm not lazy. I have done everything like I said earlier. I have cleaned, I have cooked, I have washed, I have I have done everything. Okay, what do you want me to do? Now I will tell you what you haven't done. Okay? Now before the count of five, get your lazy ass up and serve my friends some food. Okay? I want you to always remember this. I am your Lord. I am your God. After you pray to God Almighty every morning and night, the next person you should pray to is me. You pray in my name. Pray in Master's name. Do I make myself clear? Get your lazy ass up and go serve my friend some food. Before the count of five. One, two, three. Rubbish. You have the cause to talk to me. You don't ever say. Why me? Oh, why me? Oh, why me now? Tears never dry for my face. Why me now? Smile never gone my face. Have you washed my clothes? I'm sorry. I was waiting to speak to you about it. Please. I'm not feeling too well. My head aches. Could you please teach me how to use the washing machine so I can use it to wash the clothes for you? At least for today. I'm not strong at You not feeling well is no news to me. The question is, are you also mad? Hmm? Because I have said this to you before. I don't like my clothes being washed in the machine. Are you here asking me silly questions? I'm not feeling fine. Please. My body is shaking. Please. Let me make this clear to you. From Sunday through Saturday, it is work, work, work. No day off. Do I make myself clear? You must work! Round the clock. That is why you're here. Now make yourself useful. I've not told you this before. Please, I'm your wife. Please, let me just rest and get myself small. Who can wash the clothes for me? Please. I see. 
I am becoming too lenient with you. I'll be back. Thank you for your understanding. I have come to realize that of all the privileges you enjoy under my roof, I am going to remind you of one this very moment. The privilege I gave you to wear whatever you want to wear in this house has come to an end. Yes. Look at you. I'm very sure you don't even know what brought you to this house. And I will make it clear to you right now. You are nothing, absolutely nothing, but a maid. A dirty, stinky maid. And that is what you are, and nothing changes. From today onwards, wearing whatever you like in my house is prohibited. What is in your hands belongs to my former maid. You are to wear this every day in this house. Morning, noon, and night. If I set my eyes on you not wearing this uniform in this house, I will kill you with my bare hands. You call yourself my wife. Calling yourself my wife is like a goat calling a lion a husband. I will eat you without no choice. Try me. I will eat you. Without no choice. I am your God. I am your Lord. Put on that uniform and make yourself useful right now. Do I make myself clear? Don't pass. Tears never dry from my eye. They never leave my bed. What kind of life am I living? Is this the right way of living? From pain to another Every day I am sob Is this the way I am gonna How is marriage treating you? It's been okay, I guess. I hope Camille has been a good wife to you. Camille, how are you? Pleasure. How are you? I'm fine. <laughs> enough, enough. Get inside, go and get us something to eat. So how is business going? Oh well, business is going very well, mother. I'm glad to announce to you, mother, that I just landed a big contract that will give us more money. Wow. Quite impressive. I am super proud of you. Thank you very much, Mother. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, I'm too hungry now. Can't believe it's this girl now. You are too slow. Don't talk to her like that. Call her calmly. I saw the way you spoke to her earlier. Why? She's your wife. Oh, Mother, come on. What are you insinuating? Eh? Let your son breathe. Uh, do you think I'm maltreating her? If I'm maltreating her, we she'd be looking this chubby. Why is she putting on that maid's uniform? She's your wife. There you go again, mother. I have to hold you severally. Stop watching yourself over relevant things. Eh? See, she likes it that way. We understand ourselves. I'm trying to I'm just trying to groom her. Eh? You want to spoil her for me? I'm not sure. Oh, Listen, I don't want you to maltreat her. Treat her nicely. As, like I said earlier, she's your wife. Treat her with a lot of respect. So that other people that will see you with her will respect her as well. Okay, I'll try my best. It's okay. Nice. Where is this girl? I can't believe you are too slow for my life. You are too sluggish. Where's the food? Calm down now. She's bringing the food. But 
she's quite timid. Maybe it's her long years of uh, servitude. Have you noticed? Thank God you are saying what I'm saying. Very timid and weird. I don't even know the push I brought her from. It's okay, mother. I'll try. I'll try. Family, thank you for the food. Mother. Come, let's go eat. Even you. No, I would rather eat in the kitchen. Why? You made the food. Come, let's eat. No, I mean, I have something else I'm doing in the kitchen. Mother, let's go and eat. Come on, let's go. I'm gonna be living in pain and misery. Why me? Oh, why me? Oh, why? And it's truly sad. <laughs> and trust me, I dodged a bullet when I refused your proposal. <sighs> You know what, Maria? Mm. I was down, you know, and I needed you by my side. But you, you turned me down, you know? And talking about missing a bullet, you miss a good one. Good one? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, a mm -hmm. good one. What a love. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> well, the money. Mm. Of course, I said I was going to give it to you, all right? Come on. But I want the card right now. You're not even drinking. You're not sipped from your glass. Come on, let's go. Well, I'm not sipping because I don't know how cheap the wine is. <laughs> because you're stingy. <laughs> uh, the card. Yeah, I know you're joking anyway. I've done one of this before. Ready? And you know it. I'll be right back. <laughs>